Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing when your Windows 10 or 11 becomes slow after an update. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and proceed. I'll start with the basic troubleshooting steps. Simultaneously press Windows and R key to open run command and type here appwiz.cpl and then hit the enter key. Now here you need to click on view install updates. Now under the installed on click on it to find the updates that are installed recently by the date menu installed on. Just simply you need to click on each update and choose the option uninstall to uninstall all the latest updates because these updates are conflicting with your system which is causing you to slow down your PC. After uninstalling don't forget to restart your PC. If this doesn't fix out your issue and your computer is still slow after an update click on the start menu type cmd. Run cmd as an administrator. You need to type here two commands one by one. First one is sfc space slash scan now and then hit the enter key. Once this command is completed don't forget to restart your system. I am again telling you don't forget to restart your system after finishing this command else your second command will not work. Once it is completed again restart your system and open command prompt. This time type here dism space slash online space slash cleanup image space slash restore health and then hit the enter key. Both the commands will take up to 10 minutes each and once this command also completed don't forget to restart your system to fix the corrupted files present in your computer and this will fix your issue of windows 10 becomes slow after an update. I'll go ahead and close this window also to proceed with the third step. Again simultaneously press windows and R key. In command prompt this time type msconfig and hit the enter key. In msconfig under the general tab you need to choose the option selective startup and check mark both the icons load system services and load startup items. Now next is you need to choose the option services tab. Click on the option hide all microsoft services and whatever services are left over here you need to click on the option disable all. Once both the services are disabled now click on the startup tab and click on the option task manager. Now here under startup whatever settings are enabled over here you need to right click on each of the item and click on the option disable. Here in task manager you have disabled the startup settings and in MS config you have disabled the services that are not related to the Microsoft. Hit apply ok button and as it is saying make sure you restart your system to apply the changes. I'll go ahead and cancel the restart but make sure at your end you must restart your system to make the changes taken place. If this method also fails to work out and still your windows 10 is slow click on the start menu and type advanced system settings. Click on the first option which is view advanced system settings. Now here under the advanced tab click on the settings of the performance. Click on the option adjust for best performance and now click on the custom option and simply check mark the icons smooth edge of the screen fonts. Hit apply and ok button. Second is under the performance tab again click on the settings and here click on the advanced tab. Now here under the virtual memory click on the option change, uncheck the option automatically manage and here choose the custom size. Initial size you need to put the initial size which is equal to 1.5 times of your RAM. In MB suppose I have a RAM of 8 GB so in initial size I will type 1.5 times 8 GB which is equal to 12288 in MB. And in maximum size you need to type 3 times of your actual RAM. So my actual RAM is 8192 MB and when I make it 3 times it will become 24576. Now click on the option set and hit the ok button. 
as it is saying that you must restart your system to make the changes taken place. So after doing this, make sure to restart your system and this will fix out the issue of Windows 10 slow after an update. So if all this method fails, the only option you have is to do a clean installation of Windows 10 or Windows 11 and if you don't know how to do a clean install, I'll share you a video of mine in the description of this video so that you can easily find out how you can do a clean installation of Windows and this will completely fix out the issue of Windows 10 or Windows 11 slow after an update. If you are new to this channel and this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.